Okay, so just wanted to drop a quick tip for the community on how you can massage your frameworks to give you exactly what you want. Um, and this is the usual scenario. So you've you created a framework that's working very well, but sometimes the framework will just spit out a content that is so unique and so interested, but then stops without completing the thought or the the content or the or the paragraph may stop mid sentence, and you're just kind of wondering, okay, oh gosh, it it would have been nice if you could continue that. Now, one of the things I realized is that you can take an incomplete framework and paste it back into the frame framework, and your framework will continue from that. So, let me just give you an example of what I'm saying here. So I was just testing out this idea. I wanted to get some idea on how to deal with a selfish person. So I put in the, the, the um, in this is my one of my frameworks for developing big ideas. Um, so I put in the headline, which is like the desire of pain in here, to develop the big idea here. And when it came out with the first answer, it gave me some of this and stopped right here so it gave me in order to cope better with a selfish person you've got to develop two new skills socratic questioning this is where you ask a question and then give the other person an opportunity to reply for example you seem to be very angry with john is that because he doesn't contribute to the household bills or is it something else and active listening, this is where you pay attention to what... And all of a sudden stopped. Now, first of all, I wasn't expecting this answer. So the answer um, from the AI surprised me in a very pleasant way. And I thought, okay, wow, that's a very good direction, a very good insight into this problem. And it actually makes sense from a psychotherapy uh, point of view. But then it didn't complete the sentence. So... What I decided to do is take this in, just exactly as it is, and paste it back in there, the whole thing there. And what the AI would do, it would look at this. And because this sort of already matches the format of the examples um, the AI has, it looks at that point and then continues from there. So that allows me to get a variety of answers from that point okay so this is where you pay attention to what the other person is saying while showing interest in what he's saying and wow you really think so or i see so let me get it straight here and uh, as you can see these are fairly techniques which you can see it stopped again in this mid, mid sentence here and whilst yes there's one solution which is just kind of increase the the numbers of characters but sometimes i find that when you increase the numbers of character it dilutes what the ai brings back the smaller number of characters tend to try to give you the precise answers which then we then makes it a lot um um the, it, it makes it answer your, your your question in a very shorter way so sometimes it's not the best to always have three thousand characters um so we can put what it's done here. Let's take what we have there and add this. But now because it stopped in mid sentence, we can take that all that all that again and paste it back in. Because yes, we we like that answer and paste that all back in. So this way you can actually get the AI to complete and continue on any um, thought you, you've got here. So how might this be useful? So let's say you've even, you've written a blog content and there was a place you got stuck. You could just copy the section, make sure it follows the format of the examples of that particular framework you're using, paste it in, and the AI can continue the thought patterns for you. So like we have here. So as you can see, this these are fairly simple techniques which can be used in just about any type of conversation. Or these are simple techniques which 
anyone can learn to use. However, people who lack emotional intelligence find it difficult to understand, therefore impossible to cope with. Okay. So I've got so many examples. Yeah. So that brings me to the end of this quick tip. That's hopefully you'll be able to use that um, to get your frameworks um, to work better for you going forward. Thanks. Bye.